Hey man, y'all drop y'all's favorite jump shot down below in the comment section that you use this year. Y'all scroll down. Now within this video, I'm going to be showing you the best jump shots in the game for every height, every build, every rating, so you could become a god. I shoot 75% from three with randoms that are half the time trolling me because they know who I am live on stream, okay? You watch this video, you apply this knowledge, these jump shots, you will easily increase your shooting percent by 10 to 20%, okay? You need to send this video to everyone you know. Every game I play, no one can shoot, bro. Even though this is one of the easiest 2Ks, well, actually, it is the easiest 2K to ever exist. People still can't shoot. Randoms cannot shoot. 80% of the player base cannot shoot consistently, man. It's kind of crazy. So everyone needs this. It's kind of crazy, right? Y'all need to watch the full damn video. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest 2K in existence. So here's the best jump shot base in the game, okay? This is a different version, Sadiq Bey, Oscar Robinson. You can shoot over everyone shoot contested shots very consistent load ups is kind of annoying but this is the jump shot i'll be using look at this dude self-promoting in my goddamn video now this is an alternate version okay here's the main version i use though okay this is the version i actually use okay in my when y'all be seeing me playing live this is mainly the jump shot that i use to be unstoppable when i'm on a build that can use tmac i play on so many different builds live and i just be rotating different accounts but this usually when i have a build that has an 87 plus that's what you need when y'all make y'all builds make sure you got an 87 mid-range or three-pointer and you could get the best base in the game it is worth it but if you messed up on your builds or some of your builds you still want to use some of your old builds i have other bases for you okay stay tuned make sure y'all subscribe it's free show love hit the like i'm saving your life now look here's another mac base alternate reality okay it's more is it's more kind of a smoothie a little bit this is this is an alternate version just alternate now i'm gonna give you this malcolm okay you got the you know it's kind of like an alternative t mac it's nice okay you don't like you don't like the mac you don't like some of the load ups you get try this hoe Okay, very consistent, bing, bing. And again, if you can't, the base is the most important thing with all these jump shots, right? If you can't use a certain jump shot, switch up the releases, okay? If you can't, bro, and to find your base, guys, you have to go by last name. A lot of y'all don't know that. I get comments on it all the time. You go by last name. If you can't find it, that means your build can't get it. Okay, spread that knowledge, guys. For some reason, a lot of y'all don't know this. Now, I got you with the prints, okay? This movie is smoothie, you know, it's a nice jumper, okay? If you don't got the T-Mac, okay? This is for if you don't got the T-Mac. You got the prints. A lot of people like this whole, eh, it's, it's, it's good, but it ain't on the Mac level. But it's still, it's nice. You kind of go forward, so I'm like, eh. Now, here is a, for the small builds out there, here is a nice curry base. One of the best bases for small builds. Best jump shots. Here's another alternate reality jump shot, okay? If you're struggling to shoot, got lowered at release speed. Okay, and you could be more consistent. What matters most is not speed, it's hitting your jumper. Okay, you could shoot in people's face, contested shots, but you don't even, man. It's easy to get wide open shots, especially y'all that are watching this video. You're playing in casual modes, bro. You're being left open, dog. If you can't shoot with it full speed, try this hoe out. I'm telling you, change your life. So, this is a curry jump shot that I probably like the most. I like this alternate reality jump shot. Try this hoe out. Now look, this is the baby T-Mac. If you're a T-Mac user and you finally make a small guard, you can't shoot with the curry, you don't get Patty Mills, use this AI jump shot, okay? Easier to hit with, slower, shoot more contested. It's the same type of form. Use this if you're a littler guard, okay? Six, five and under, okay? Show. Another alternate reality of curry. Alternate reality of curry. And just another slower jump shot, you know. If you don't, if you're not for some reason messing with the AI or the uh, curry, or you, hey, the wall, try the wall. It's been a good jump shot since 2K15, man. 
Or if you just got a lower three-point build, you know? Now this Malcolm, okay? It's for if you ain't get the T-Mac, right? You got the 86 or below. Try this hoe out. Now look, the one I like the most for builds that you mess up, and even for popper builds, when you mess up, I'm gonna show you the Jarrett base, okay? It is the best base to me in the game when you don't get T-Mac, okay? For some reason, this is it's a, it's a baby T-Mac for lower ratings, I'm gonna show you. But here's another alternate reality. You know, if you have a lower three-point, okay, a lower midi, you know, here's a something that could be somewhat consistent for you. Okay, try this hoe out. Now, here's an alternate reality of the Jarrett, okay? This is not the one I use, okay? I'm going to finish show you mine, okay? But Jarrett, this is him. This is him. When you don't have T-Mac, this is the jump shot base. You need to use this base, not JT Thor. Not none of that, bro. I'm telling you, I tried these hoes and I'm like, man, I'm missing. I switched to this hole, changed everything. Made the game way more enjoyable, I'm telling you. Not this jump shot though, but you could use this alternate reality base. I'ma really show you the jumper, hold on. The baby T himself, this is the jump that I be using on my uh 99 standard dunk build, okay? Y'all be seeing me play with them hoes, all up in the, nah, nah. Then I'm still greening. People crying, complaining. How are you doing that? You're a PG. <laughs> this is the jumper. Poppers. Everything. Tell your friends to use this jump if you don't get the T-Mac, okay? Get it all the way up to 6'10". 6'5 through 6'10". This is the jumper that will change your game if you don't get T-Mac. To me, okay? For I mean, I've told a bunch of people, hundreds of people have thanked me. Guys, you, you guys have no... People are literally sending me paragraphs thanking me. Shoot in the game. Like, you, you got to imagine, this is serious. People do this in their off time. They just trying to have fun. They want to hit their shots. This is a big deal. Y'all think I'm, like, spamming. But it's like, bro, people are asking all the time. They want to shoot. This is the jumper. Save the community. Save the community. Here's another alternate reality, Jarrett. If you want it slower for some reason, if you're like bigger or something, you know, they leave you open a little more. It's another alternate reality, Jarrett. Okay. We got the pat when you when you have a lower rating, right? This is when you have a lower rating, you know, test it out, bro. Got the Leandre, you got a lower rating. Okay, it's a smooth base. You know, a click up if you want to use your feet, your feet cue. I don't really do that, I mostly use the hands. The hands look Gucci, you know. Hey, make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Show love, it's free. Now look, this Kevin Durant for shooting big, you know, say you got a high midi, high three. I like this jump shot. I tried other jump shots. There's something wrong with the big man this year. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. For some reason, bro, it just feel like the game broke. Like, But with this hoe, the Kevin Durant, it seemed like I could start hitting now. There's a new animation. This goddamn Chris Bosh, right? You know, you get this, you know, when you're a higher level or whatever. It's not even worth it, bro. Bro, I keep missing with this hoe. I don't know what it is. You see the ratings I got, right? This jump shot right here is horrible, bro, for big man. I don't know. For me, I was trying it. it here is the best guard jump shot when you're 6'5 and under, okay? You can shoot over people. People saying it's hella glitchy, but you have to be a certain rep. I think it's starter three or vet three. I don't think it's vet three. It's one of the uh, reps, so you got to play the game a lot. If you don't have this base, just put on. <laughs> Just put on Curry and jump shots, man. Well, at least the bases. You might not be able to get the releases, but you could work around that and just switch to uh, releases. But when I use this seven foot huh, point center, y'all drop a comment below if you want this build. I'll be butter, bruh. You feel me? This little Eric Pashko on the base, you know, it's decent. I got nice little releases. You know, you can shoot straight over people. You already seven foot. Then you got a nice release height and a decent speed. Everything Gucci. Good base for bigs, man. Now, the second one I'm going to show you is this Isaac, okay? You can shoot over people even easier as a point center. Decent speed, a little weaker stability, but, you know, your release height is better, man. These two bases as a big, you know, you should really try to get on your build. And, of course, the requirements will be lower if you use different releases. And to get all your hot spots, dog, if you're really struggling, my career... 12 minute quarters on rookie. Thank me. Thank me later. That method seems to be easier than the street ball method. Met the street ball method still seems pretty easy, 
But my career, 12 minute rookie, that seemed crazy easy. A lot of people don't know about that, bro. Okay? And you could just shoot over people. A lot of people don't know you could shoot over these on these like easy settings. I even shoot over them in street ball. A lot of y'all don't know that. Here, man. I want to show y'all this right here, guys. Okay? This is very important. This is so important, bro. A lot of y'all, you're not thinking, man. I've been on at least 40 different accounts this year, right? And I'm noticing something. People don't have their badges or their hotspots, and they're going to play, and then they're whining about the game, especially this year since the rebirth, right? It gets you the silver badges or whatever. People aren't getting their hotspots and maxing out their shooting badges. You have to do it. Literally, th this right here. Look, y'all are playing and you don't even got this max. How do you know the real truth of the game? You feel me? Look, Hall of Fame MIDI Magician. Bro, are you gonna miss a MIDI with that? Especially, I already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game. Y'all go check it out for your build. I gave y'all the best releases in the game too. And I'm finna go over the best jump shots again. I go, I put in different jump shots every time, but look, you want to max out your jump shots. Look, right here, Claymore. You wanna max this hole out. You wanna max out Mini Magician. You really wanna max out open looks. This is so important. It will change your game. I don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys, they're not doing uh the badge updates on all the uh shooting badges first. Like, I don't know if I'm just tripping, but I just feel like these shooting badges change everything like like it's not even close like when you play with without this and then compared to with this it's completely different bro that catch and shoot one of the most important badges bro people don't even got their catch and shoot max they're gonna go play and they're missing look i got this whole hall of fame you feel me people aren't maxing out their badges especially because of the rebirth i'm telling you this is why you're missing way more than not. Look, the green machine, you gotta get this whole max. Maybe it might not do nothing this year, but I, I, I don't know in particular what, but I know overall when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83 point build, right? Look, space creator, max that hole, watch what happens. It's broken. Look, max that hole, watch what happens. You, you see these badges? You wanna max out your shooting badges, bro. The Agent 3s, you wanna max this hoe out before you say like the shooting this and that and that and this. The the shooting's broken because Mike Wang's playing God. It's giving you random releases and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right, bro. When you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right, he's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying and broken, bro. It's, it's annoying, like, like Stop punishing the top players. It's corny as hell. Mike Wayne really need to lose his job, bro. Blinders, look, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen. The Hall of Fame Deadeye, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen, okay? Limitless range, max it out. Watch what's gonna happen, you feel me? I'm telling you, bro, max your badges. If you need the method, let me know. I could get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall like all of them right i just don't have the time you know this is a new build by the way this is a rebirth i did all this in, in one day all these badges you see i did all this in two hours before i get into all the jump shots i want to show y'all this right get your lethal hot zones okay 2k lab did a test right you have to at least get your hot spots before you play online get your hot spots bro it will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them. Get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else. But, you know. But look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency, but you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. 
But listen up. Yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball... Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K. And there's so there's different latency in so many different modes. So it's kind of hard, you know, you know, but it's still easy, right? You just got to get used to it. You know, you got to have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. Throws you off. It's ridiculous. When I be playing rec, all I hear old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot, <laughs> jump shot boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also even better, Gatorade, okay? Um, you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took gym rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? Very important, your Gatorade is gonna help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. Y'all ain't never thought about that, huh? Now, one more thing. In every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback. You could turn off everything. If you, like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm gonna keep it on. But they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just want to test this out, this is something you could Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But well, hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo. Off the top of the dome, dome.